What's going on everyone? It's the True Geordie back again in Newcastle have lost 1-0 to Sunderland for the fifth time in a row. Five times. Five fucking times. John Carver comes out before the game. He says, we're going to show effort and enthusiasm. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? That was a bunch of suckless, overpaid cunts who never even get up for the one game of fucking year that we'll give a shit about. Ever. Even the Sunderland players, as born idle as they are, and even their own fucking fans know that, at least they understand the importance of this game to the region. Why? Because there's a little bit of character in that team at least. They might be shit. The fucking hell, they were beating 4-0 of Villa, 8-0 of Southampton. They're not a good team. But at least they get up for these games. Our team, where's the character? Even my captain, Colicini, he's not even a fucking leader. There's not a leader amongst those guns. And I'll tell you what, if you'd let me in at half time, you'd have seen a fucking leader then. I'm telling you, I'm absolutely sick of Newcastle turning up for these games and not even having the courage, someone to get on the ball and string some passes together and put something to ha make something happen. Nobody had the courage, the bottle, to put their foot on the ball in that face off and say, yeah, I'm here, I'm going to give it some, I'm going to make something happen. Nobody, not one fucking player. <sighs> Unbelievable, unfucking believable. Sunderland. Not taking anything away from the victory, you were better in every single fucking position. So I let, let's make that clear now. I'm not a sore loser, but Newcastle were pathetic. Jermaine Defoe, after Newcastle can't string a pass together, the set pieces were pathetic. The long ball, the fucking little five foot Iose Perez is pathetic. Lord knows that didn't fucking work. Sunderland constantly putting passes together, moving forward. Eventually, Fletcher wins the header, who dominated in the air for most of the game. It falls to Jermaine Defoe on his wrong foot, and he smashes it in the top corner. You know, it's bad enough to lose a game, but to lose from a highlight reel goal like that, that's going to be shown on fucking Sky Sports for the next 20 fucking years, probably. It's even worse. And the fact is, I was, I was sick to death when I seen that goal go in, but I was even more sick when I seen Tim Cruel, our goalkeeper, who should be angry, should want to rattle some cages. Why isn't his fucking midfield taking the fucking ball forward? Why aren't the strikers and the wingers actually making something happen? But instead, he's patting Jermaine Defoe on the fucking back. Eh? Smiling and laughing at him. That is exactly why that smile and that laugh, and I'm not putting it all on cruel by any means, I'm talking about the attitude amongst that fucking squad. That is exactly why we keep losing derbies, because there's nobody with the real men mentality in that team that says we need to live and die to make sure we get this fucking win, or at least don't lose. That is exactly why Newcastle come out the second half no, no better, no better, still, still shite, tactical substitutions from Carver, you're scratching your fucking head, what is he waiting for, what is he gonna make something happen, nothing, nothing, just, let's just, let's sit and fucking pray, Sunderland have a lot of half chances, helped all the way by Mike Dean, who really gave Newcastle nothing all day, unless it was glaringly obvious, shite game from him as well, but Sunderland deserved the win, but looking at Newcastle, you just think to yourself, what, what was the plan from Carver? What was the fucking plan? Was it route one to a midget up front? Was he expecting Sammy Amiobi to do something? I mean, fuck me, you're looking at that cunt, he's that fucking slow. You actually think, is he buffering? Or is this actually, is he going to actually move soon? Gufran, what the hell's he still in the, how many division fucking championship players have we got in that side? It's a joke, man. This is what happens when you have shite players, a shite manager, and a chairman who doesn't give a rats about the club he owns. This is exactly what happens. We deserve it. We fucking deserve it. And I'll tell you one thing. The only thing that keeps Newcastle up season in, season out is the shite that's below it. Not because we're good. Because we know we're shite. But Sunderland are shite as well. So we should at least be beating those cunts. <sighs> I didn't really want to do this video. But I owe it to me subscribers. I appreciate everyone who subscribed to the True Jordy YouTube channel. And I really have had enough today. That, that's it. The video is over. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you later.